Hello again, I am Blunty, your supernova video guy, the man with the cam, the lens jockey for one of the funnest events in Australia. It's nearly that time again, folks. Creeping up on us real quick are the Sydney and Perth tours of the Supernova Pop Culture Convention. Movie, TV, comics, anime, manga, all kinds of stuff. We've got artists on the floor drawing, you can get them to draw you like Superman wearing a kilt if you really want to. All that kind of fun stuff. Special guests like you wouldn't believe. We've got some real killers this time. Let's run down a list of them for you. I'm not going to do them all. You can head along to the supernova.com.au website to get a list of everybody who comes. In fact, I'll, I'll scroll it across the bottom of the screen here for you as well if you're particularly lazy and you know can't click a link in the sidebar. But let me tell you about some of the, some of the ones I'm really excited about, some of the big names, some of the people that it, it potentially once in a lifetime opportunity to meet, greet, get autographs, get photos, have a chat to. First cab off the ranks, Carl Urban, and as far as I know, this is, an exclusive, this is the first time he's done a, a big pop culture event since he played Dr. Bones McCoy in the awesome new Star Trek film. He was, of course, also in Lord of the Rings and a whole bunch of other stuff, but uh, you know what, I'm more excited about him because, you know, he's Bones, and he was an awesome Bones. Next up, a couple of Twilight guests. Now, I haven't read Twilight, haven't seen the movie, but I know for a fact that a whole lot of you out there love this series. We have Rochelle Lefeuve, and I think I'm saying her name right. She was in Twilight. She is a Sydney exclusive guest. But if you're over the other side of country in Perth and you're planning on coming to the Perth Supernova, you're not left out of the Twilight bandwagon either. We have Gil Birmingham also. Already mentioned Carl Urban as Dr. Bones McCoy, but let's say you're not a Trekker. You're more of a Star Wars fan. We have Jake Lloyd. He's the little kid who played Anakin Skywalker in The Phantom Menace. He used to look like this. I don't have a current picture of him. It's been like 10 years since he started that movie, so I've done an artist's impression about what he may appear like right now. Yeah, that's my best guess. Herb Jefferson Jr., Dirk Benedict, and Richard Hatch. A trifecta of Battlestar Galactica special guests. Stanislav Imileski, no, it's not some sort of awesome, tasty cocktail drink. He is, in fact, from the Harry Potter movie universe. You probably know him best from Neon Genesis Evangelion. He played Shinji Ikari, but he was also in Martian Successor Nadesco, one of my favourite anime series. Spike Spencer, anime, voice actor, extraordinaire, and just a really wacky guy. He doesn't just do anime, he's also in a lot of video game voiceovers as well. He's done voiceover work for, for World of Warcraft, so if you're an uber geek with a neck beard playing World of Warcraft in your basement all day, yeah, I'm just teasing it, but Spike Spencer's in that game. You might want to come meet him. Another guy I'm really looking forward to meeting to will be my first time meeting this guy, Christopher Sabat. If you know that name, if you think that name sounds familiar and you're a Dragon Ball Z fan, you're in for a treat. Because this guy is Vegeta. Kakarot! I can't do it as well as he can, but we'll get him to do it when he comes up on stage. I'm sure he loves doing it over and over and over again. Now this is a coup. Dave Gibbons. Okay, Dave Gibbons. Look at this t-shirt I'm wearing. See the see the t-shirt? Dave Gibbons. He drew the Watchmen comic miniseries cannot possibly tell you how excited I personally am to meet Dave Gibbons, the man who drew Watchmen. He helped out with the movie. He was on set making sure everything was accurate and looked right and he was advising and all that sort of stuff. Can't wait to talk to him about the comic, about the movie. Very excited. Dave freaking Gibbons, people. Dave Gibbons. Dave... I just love saying his name. Dave Gibbons. Dave Gibbons. Dave, Davey, David, Gibbo, the old Gibson. Yeah, I probably won't do that to his face. I wonder if he has a sense of humour. Alright, like, I don't want to make this too long. We've got a whole big list of guests. You've seen them scrolling across the screen. You can go to the Supernova website, supernova.com.au, to find out who's coming, to find out more about them, what they've done, all that kind of stuff. We've got more comic book artists. We've got uh, sci-fi novelists and all that kind of stuff. Supernova is not just about the special guests. We've got heaps of exhibitors, heaps of, of guys selling little knickknacks and uh, toys and, and action figures and comics and, and costumes and... All this kind of awesome stuff that's normally kind of hard to find. Uh, video games set up, Dance Dance Revolution machines and all that sort of gear. Look, to cut things short, you can you can see on my face how excited about, I'm about this. And I do four of these a year. And I still love them. Every time I go, I have a blast. It's really fun to go there, do the things, see the panels, talk to the people, talk to the slabs, have a chat, all that sort of stuff. Meet 
fellow geeks is one of my favourite things. So get prepared, hit up the website to buy tickets and all that sort of stuff. The Sydney event is June 26th through to the 28th. We run Friday night, Saturday, Sunday, all day. The Perth event is... I have to check my thing here because I can never remember these dates off the top of my head for some reason. Perth is July 3rd to 5th. There is also a special VIP ticket section which gets you all kinds of privileges, line cuts and, and photos and a special VIP cocktail party which is always a blast i'm always there we get a bunch of the celebs in you can sit down in a bar have a few drinks in a more relaxed uncrowded atmosphere and just chill out and have a lot of fun oh and don't forget about the cosplayers some of my favorite people are these cosplayers they get so much dedication to dress up as the favorite characters from the favorite shows or books or whatever it's unbelievable we have the the standard cosplay competition uh which is always incredible uh, john the guy who hosts it he's a blast that guy cracks me up and i'm trying to film and he's making me laugh and the camera's going oh, damn you john damn you um but there's also the madman national cosplay championships now this is part of the the australian wide championship thing this is an official real thing guess what the prize is trip to japan holiday to japan so if you're really good at cosplaying you need to come and enter this event later on in the year uh like near the end of the year there'll be the the final championship the the finals final i think i said that the final why can't I speak? I really can't speak. <laughs> the championships, the finals of the National Cosplay thingies. And I'll be filming that as well. And the winner, Holiday to Japan. Wish I could enter. I could do a mean, like, like uh, Iron Man, Tony Stark. Or shave this bit off and go as the comedian, you know? But I can't. i got to film it. I want to go to Japan. Who wants to give me a trip to Japan? I'll catch you next time. See ya at Supernova. Yeah.